Hi and welcome, it's Peg, and today I am going to finish a project I started about a week ago. We were doing a live show, Art Joy is sharing, you know, Shell and I share that channel doing live shows each week, Thursday, 1030 Central Time, and I'd begun these two panels, these five by seven panels the week before, and so I'd asked or polled the audience about what should I do, collage or paint, and the consensus was that I should collage the cow and paint the pig. So I'm just uh, looking at my color chart here, and I'm going to pull out some papers, and I'm going to start tearing up uh, some papers and some colors that I think I'm going to use in this collage piece. So. What I did first was to take this uh, deli paper and sketch out the shape of the cow that I had on the background. What I usually do is an underpainting uh, on the, you know, I'll sketch it out, I'll paint the underpainting, and then I'll plan out where I want things to go. So um, I'm just tearing my collage papers. These are papers that are part of Art Joya Sharing, which is our Facebook group, Chelsea and I manage. And um, there are all kinds of people, close to, I think, 2,000 people in that group that are sharing uh, their art. And many of them are sharing their background papers, you know, their digital background papers. So if you want some uh, digital background papers, you can go in and look at the photos that have been shared there and download what you like and print them off. And you too will have some gorgeous collage papers to use. So check us out. That's Art Joyous Sharing on Facebook and Art Joyous Sharing on YouTube. So uh, I did this during the live show and I did not get it finished because, you know, this stuff is wet. And you know how it is when you try to put pen work or anything else over the top of something wet. You really need a day for it to dry down to get to the point where you can rework the project. So I'm just going to uh, add my papers. I will cut out the image and I will glue it down on the 5x7. This is a canvas board. Um, Canvas board is a hard board, which I like to work on. I, I usually use a cradle board or canvas board or something like that. Canvas is okay too, you can collage on canvas, but I don't like the way canvas gives. I like a harder surface. Uh, it's easier for me to glue to, so um, I'm gonna use some uh, matte gel medium, glue it down. Um, right here, I am using some uh, big brush pit pens to add some color into the background around the image before I glue it down. I want to darken that a little bit. In the end, I end up using more of those papers in the background, but um, yeah, for now, I'm just getting it, the uh, collage papers positioned so that it will be ready to work. And once I have that glued down and dried enough, I will get out a cutting mat and, and a, a utility knife, and I will cut off those excess pieces that are uh, hanging over the edge of my canvas board. Just finishing up here, adding a few extra pieces as I go trying to define the, the face features. I need eyes and lips and that sort of thing. So I'm getting those pieces of paper and tearing it. And remember, if you're tearing for collage and you don't want that white line that you want to tear away from yourself so that you just get the uh, colorful part of the paper, And there's his mouth, and I think we're pretty good to go. We've got our colors uh, collaged in, and then I can flip that over onto my 
cutting mat. It's an 8 by 10 X-Acto cutting mat and a cutting knife. And I'm just going to trim that out. Uh, that was another page I was working on that day because that needed to dry also. And as you can see, I'm starting with some pen work and I'm not liking it because, um, yeah, it's just, it's too thick. I really want to go to my pens that are a finer line and utilize them and, you know, define this more. But um, we're still in the live show and I was, I was trying to, I was trying to give this uh, collaged background image a little more definition before we ended the live show. But uh, as things go, you know, we had about 10 minutes left in the show. And uh, that was not certainly not enough to finish this. As I look at this now, I probably should have put one of those uh, funny hats with the flowers and things on this cow. But uh, Maybe the next cow I do will have the funny hat. We'll see. So you can see I'm adding some uh, line work, some white Posca pen to brighten some areas and uh, get a little more definition to the face. And yeah, that's about the end of the show for today. We were talking about gel plates and that sort of thing, so let me skip ahead. So I did miss a little bit of collaging uh, video here for you. I'd laid in some more of those papers into the background and on the face, uh, trying to give the face a little more uh, character. And now I'm just coming in with a pen and starting to do some illustration or line work on my collage piece. And this is a uh, very fine line pen. And I'm just giving it some scratchy, scruffy type stuff. Like, you know, the, the cow has a little bit of... Uh, you know, fur on its hide, and I want to have some of that feeling. You know, they've got little fringy stuff <laughs> that comes off of them. Uh, they have very expressive eyes. I want to make sure that, you know, the, the eyes have that expression. So I'm defining them in you know, coming around the back and giving it that, uh, that fluffy feeling. <laughs> Getting, a, you know, the, the texture on there and around the muzzle and the nose area, the lip, and the mouth. Got to, got to get that in there. They've got these, got these pretty big lips, you know. And uh, I want to I want to emphasize that a little bit. And his jawline, you know, where the jaw comes down. You know how they chew their cud, and so you've got their mouth is pretty important. So we've got that, and uh, you know I'm looking at it and I'm saying, okay, I need. I need a little more color in here. I need to um, pull those pieces of paper because it's right now it's still very much the glued papers in the background that you're seeing. So I'm I'm gonna grab my um, woodies. These are a pencil, a water soluble pencil, and I start with those. And I wasn't getting exactly what I wanted with the woody. And then I decide, well, what if I take a wet finger and blend it out? And I thought, you know, the crayons blend a lot easier than these woodies. So I'm going to reach for my um, water-soluble crayons now. And I have a mixture. I have 
three different brands of water-soluble crayons, and it really doesn't matter which ones you use. They all work about the same. I also have gelatos. Um, the one I have in my hand right now happens to be one of those distressed ones. Uh, I have some Marabou. I have some King Art. You know, whatever water-soluble crayons you like to use would work for something like this. But um, what I'm doing is I'm unifying those uh, collage pieces that are in the background and just blending out those colors with my finger. That one happens to be one of the ones from Marabou, I believe. And I'm liking, I'm liking this a lot better now that I'm getting that um, to blend together some. So I'll just continue to work this, uh, finishing up. Um, I hope you come and join me and the rest of the community on Art Joya Sharing. Uh, we have a really wonderful group there, and that's all it's about, is sharing your art and uh, enjoying seeing what everybody is working on and encouraging one another. We have art prompts each month, uh, challenges, that sort of thing going on just to help encourage you to be creative on a daily basis. You know, we've been working on, Chelsea and I have been working on the 100 Days Project, and you'll see us posting on Instagram um, the things that we're doing in the 100 Days Project. So uh, I'm going to finish this up. If you're new to my channel and you like this content, Please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, all those things that let the YouTube community know that this uh, is content that you like and is of, is of value to you and that someone else may enjoy. Uh, that helps my channel grow and uh, gets it out there so that other people can find it. And uh, I appreciate you having spent time with me today. And I will give you some parting shots. You know, I want to give you some stills or that sort of thing at the end of my videos, which you will see most of the time. And uh, that's it for me. Bye for now.